a lot of people have been asking me or like commenting on my videos and even in a couple live streams ago, bringing up Casey Zander. They think that my, uh, my videos are contrary to his. And they, a lot of people think that I'm like calling him out or something, but I chose the title of this video for a reason. Cause I want you guys to see what the manosphere is like. And I know viewers might not recognize this or even pay attention to it, but content creators do, you know, because I have to come up with titles. I have to come up with subjects. So I kind of watch what other people do. And, uh, look, so I titled this video, this for a reason, the harsh truth about women. And when we go into this, how do I pull this up? I want this to be bigger. What the fuck? All right, we'll just do this. So look at this. The harsh truth about women. This is the manosphere, right? This is how um, big of like a copycat arena that it is. And this is why I don't mind being different than everybody else because I'm original. But hold on. Seven harsh truths about women. Men learn too late. Four harsh truths about women. Men learn too late. That's crazy. He came up with seven and you only had four and you came up with your, your video is four months after his. Could have at least did all seven. Eight harsh truths about women. Modern women. Men must learn ASAP. So he went with eight. So he won up Mr. Seven over here. Now here comes women in the dating and man, the, the manosphere. Five brutal truths women about women that men learn too late. She only came up with five. Not bad, but, uh, you know, five. A harsh truth about women that men learn too late. Six harsh truths about women men learn too late. Six harsh truths about women that men learn too late. Five harsh truths about women men learn too late. And now we finally get to a Casey Zander video. Five things women will not tell you as a man. He titled it quite differently. So as you can see, it is, there's so many content creators that come up with the same ideas, same shit. And it's not one guy. And the, the reason why you guys think I'm going after Casey Zander is because I looked in my, uh, there, there's a section in our analytics that, that shows the most commonly or the, the channels that your viewers watch the most. So like LFA viewers watch Casey Zander, alpha male strategies, entrepreneurs in cars, um, you know, a couple others. So he's like one of the most watched people of, from my viewers. And we say like the opposite things. But here's the thing. Eight harsh truths, six harsh truths. We can keep going. Um, the harsh truth about attracting women. Seven harsh truths about women that men learn too late. Four harsh truths about women men learn too late. 10 harshest truths about women that men learn too late. Nice guys suck. Six harsh truths about women that men learn too late. Advanced female nature. The harsh truth about why men prefer younger women. Okay. So that one's probably just an open and honest video right there. But you see... It's not one guy. And that's why I don't say any names. Like I'm just being honest. Like there's a massive grift that goes on in the manosphere. The harsh truth about modern women, the harsh truth, what women actually want, brutal truth about women, social media and hypergamy, harsh truths about women, men learn too late, the harsh truth about women's behavior, the harsh truth about female nature and how they see you as a man, five brutal truths about women that some men learn too late, the harsh truth why girls never chase you, harsh truth about women, the brutal truth about modern women, the dumbest woman on YouTube, just pearly things. <laughs> I was just reading fast there. I don't mean that. Just pearly things is kind of entertaining. The harsh truth about dating men, he says. The harsh 
Okay, so the harsh truth about women, men learn too late. Brutal truths. The harsh truth about women aren't told by men. The brutal truth, modern women. The harsh truth about women, men learn too late. Women are not designed to love a man. Okay, some of those were a little bit different, but as you can see, I'm not going after one specific person when I do that shit. I'm just saying, this is YouTube, all right? Everybody fucking copies each other. And whoever came up with that idea a long time ago, you know, the harsh truth about modern women, I don't have to watch any of those videos. You know what the harsh truth is? They're going to say, so it's going to have something to do with hypergamous women are savages and they'll leave a low value woman or they'll leave a low value man for a high value man. If you don't display high value and, and have masculine frame, she's going to leave you. Women will cheat on you behind your back. If you're too sweet and emotional. Okay. I, I already know what the videos are going to say. It's just the basic shit, right? The truth of the matter is Everybody is disloyal. Okay. Maybe not everybody. If you're not disloyal, that's a good thing. But I can speak just from my experience. Okay. Because we all share our own experiences. Women have been more committed to me in my life than I have been to them. So my perspective is going to be different. If another content creator says women have not been very committed to him, you know, if another content creator says when you express emotions to a woman, that's when she's going to lose attraction and she's going to leave you. That's his experience. I can't take that away from him. Okay. That means he's been with women. He's expressed emotions with to him and they've left him. Sometimes it happens. From my experience, if I really wanted to get in a girl's pants on the first date, I would tell her I love her. That, that's what I would say. That would be the magic word that would get me into her pants. I would tell her I love her. Other guys say telling a girl you love her is, is a bad move. But I'm genuine and authentic, so I don't lie to women to get in their pants. I don't have to display high value. As a matter of fact, I tone it down and act less alpha because it's just easier for me. If I really want to get in a girl's pants, I'm going to be extremely nice to her. I'm not going to be rude to her. And that's what works for me. Um, <clears throat> but then, then again, if you're a guy that, if women do perceive you as lower than them, if you're on a date with a woman and she genuinely perceives you as less than her, you might have to knock her off of her pedestal. Right. But if you're out on a date with a woman and she views you as attractive and as a catch and she's feeling you and she, you know, wants to be with you, it's in the back. You don't even need dating advice for that one. 